pop out real quick. Yeah, you could you imagine the size of them though? Yeah, you can get them. What? This is the sickest thing ever. It's four wheel, permanent four wheel drive. And it's Russian. <laughs> it's Russian to the NEC. <laughs> yeah, we're, ru <laughs> we're Russian to the NEC. <laughs> we ain't got a lot of time, so we're Russian to the NEC. <laughs> it disappears when you go near it. Pointless. We were like looking at it yesterday and as you go, get up to it you're like, oh yeah, oh it's gone. Oh, it, did you just go over the speed bump roundabout, give way, zebra crossing, whatever? It was literally a roundabout with everything on it. No, I don't think I've been roundabout. Oh my god. Down, yeah. Is it? Oh, did you have to go over like, the motor one? Yeah, I'm having the right fit. <laughs> Honestly, roundabout, you get halfway round it, there's a speed bump where you have to give way for the left onto oh. Roundabout. Oh. It was manic. <laughs> Is it here? No, it's further down. Right, well, we're here, so we're going to get everything sorted. Brought my laptop with me, so um, so I can get some editing done. And hopefully, you'll have seen the first video already. So we'll see how that goes. Hey, we ain't got a lot of time, so we're rushing. <laughs> Just before we go in, this is Rajan's ladder, so it's testament to say that if you do own a Mark 1 or any car for that matter you can also have a wild card car like i do and rajan does and this thing is so sick <laughs> thing is even though they're, they're like m8s but it doesn't scare me because I know it's built to last. <laughs> but yeah, the toolkit in it has literally got every tool in it that could possibly fix this car in the middle of Siberia. And literally, it's the most epic little thing I've ever been in. Oh, here he goes. Oh, look at the wheel. Wow. <laughs> spare wheels, yeah. Uh, pump. <laughs> so what's under here? What litre is it, Roger? 1600. It's chain driven, single cam. Do the chains need changing often or are they quite... No, it's got, uh, I've just upgraded it to auto adjuster. So you're supposed to, it's got a manual adjuster that you tap. It's got like a little shoe in it. It's supposed to do every 10,000 kilometers. Is that, is that the it's coolant, yeah. Does it not like to be high? Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, I've filled it up to the, the rad. So okay. It, oh, it's got a top on the rad yeah, as well? Yeah, It needs a little bit more. It's just literally checked for leaks and stuff because I've had all yeah. the engine out and stuff, so. How long have you had it? I've had it since October last year. It's just took it apart, and then it's only the past few weeks that I've had a chance to sort of get it all together. And, and you need to keep ordering bits. Like I said, you get to get them from yeah. Ukraine or whatever, so you've got to wait a couple, couple of weeks for the bits to come. It's a bit frustrating, but yeah. It's so cool. I mean, it's only going to go up in value as well, isn't it? Yeah, hopefully. I'm on my laptop, mate. Sweet. Awesome. So there we go. First classic car of the day and we had to go riding it. Amazing. Uh, so we're heading in now. Hopefully it'll be a bit quiet so we can have a quick look around the cars and yeah, we'll see how things go. Set that as a sea of cars are coming here. Yeah, there's loads of them. Just two pound a day, you could fund Mark One Owners Club a trolley so they don't have to carry boxes on their heads. <laughs> Just having a quick look round at the minute and the sheer amount of cars around here is absolutely unbelievable. There's literally everything here. Um, I mean, as you can see in the background, Lancia, uh, yeah, got the old Four Sierras, Capris, Probes, in the old Fiat Puntos. There's literally everything in, everything in between that. Lotus Carlton behind me here, Alpines knocking about as well. Auto Union cars, all behind, uh, actually behind the Mark 1 stand as well. Loads of Vauxhalls, there's a Mark 2 G60 over here, Rally. This is absolutely insane. So much stuff here. Uh, I think I'm going to struggle getting all of this into so many videos, but we'll try, we'll try.
me and Alex are gonna go trade stand hunting in. See if we can pick up a few little trinkets. Wow. Things I'd do to have a Williams. There's so much here this weekend. Oh my God, look at that old oval. Just seen an oval over here that looks like a drag car. It is a drag car. What are we saying? Sick. <laughs> right, so basically me and Alex know exactly where we're going. Dave McMilligan showed us this um, stall yesterday or last night, but it had just shut as we got there and they basically sell like little, what was it like, what did he give us last night? They're like little oil change stickers, like original Castrol GTX ones. And there's like loads of other little things as well. Loads of old small, Car crap that we love. Loads of all small car crap. But yeah, as you can see behind me as I'm walking through this hall now, there's what is it five halls? I think I'm sure there's more. I think there might be seven. There might be seven halls. Five or seven. Five or seven. Or maybe, maybe even, even six. six. <laughs> <laughs> so uh <laughs> this is just one of <laughs> This is just one of them. And the stall that we're off to is just over there, so we'll be back in a sec. So these, uh, yeah, these are the stickers that Dave found yesterday. There's loads of little cool stuff here. It's, um, it's becoming one of my favourite places to be at the minute. We have one of these for sale on our page. If anybody wants it. How much have we got it up for? That one's 18 quid. That one's 15 posted. 15 posted if you want that. You know what switches get? Stitches. Bitches. Hey. I know how to fix my horn. He doesn't know how to fix my horn. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to squeak it too loud. <laughs> Taking a break, uh, I'll probably do some editing. Alex, how many halls have we done? Just two? We've not even done two halls. So yeah, I think we're gonna do some editing, have a brew, and then tackle the rest, which is gonna take all day. Seal's got priorities, right? Here's me editing. Y'all being sociable. <laughs> Guy's got a Mark 1 GTI with 36,000 miles on clock. 36,000 miles? Yeah. Series 2? Series 2, 83. <laughs> wow. doing my Recaro seats is actually doing some retrim work on one of these cars or has done some well it might not be any of these but he's definitely doing doing it on one of them in the UK somewhere common as though aren't they like Ford one mail well we just met Nick Bagshaw he's got a Cobra uh, Daytona it's well, the Pork 289 FIA Pork 289 and it's absolutely stunning. They've got Daytona over there, but it's a replica, but it's not completely nut and bolt to the actual spec of what a Daytona would be, I guess. Was that what I was saying? Yeah, absolutely insane. 
Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's well, show us around. Let's have a look. So it's um, made by Hawk. It's got a Rover engine. So it's not got the Ford engine, unfortunately, but uh, it's dressed up to look a bit more like a Cobra should do. And I'm guessing the sound's not too far off. It sounds pretty good, and uh, it'll do 70 miles an hour quite comfortably, officer. Nice. Officer. <laughs> <laughs> I've not taken it on the track yet. Uh, I hope to sometime, but uh, it's got MGB front suspension, Jaguar rear. There's a bit of setup work to do before it's really track ready. So what is it, aside from that, is it just a weekend sort of thing? Or Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And I share it with my mum and she drives it more than I do. Really? Yeah. That's epic. <laughs> <laughs> I bet she does, I bet she looks absolutely incredible in it. <laughs> that's, a, that's insane. She was stopped in town by the police the other day. He says, I didn't hear you coming, you weren't going fast enough. <laughs> Oh, that's absolutely incredible. So how long have you owned this? I've owned it since, well, almost exactly three years now. Yeah. Uh, and I've done 10,000 miles through the winter. It went down to Goodwood in March this year, got covered in snow. And uh, it took me about three days to clean all the salt off it afterwards. You'd think somebody had sprayed it white. So that's one thing with us, like, with, uh, so we both own Mark 1 Golfs. Mm. Uh, so very different to this, but we always say that it's all well and good having a classic. But does it get used and yeah. stuff like that? We completely appreciate people who drive winter. I mean, my, my Mark 1s go through winter, yours doesn't. But it gets, it gets driven and it gets driven hard, and that's what it's about. That's part of owning a classic car is yeah. driving how it should be driven. Yeah, I don't um, want a car I have to polish too much. I've cleaned this three times this year, and that's. Yeah. Far too much. I'm, I'm exactly the same. Don't, don't clean. It's literally microfiber it off. Park it where it should be, and that's it done. It's, uh, Alex spends about five hours on it, and it's an oh, it's an absolute chore, yeah. to say I, the least. I just want mine to look like a dirty old race car, like my dad used to have in the sixties. Yeah. So. Uh, and it does, but it still it looks works. absolutely incredible. Yeah. Thank it's you very just, much. it's just got that right patina sort of effect, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's incredible. Love it. Oily rag. That's it. That's Oily rags. Yeah. Awesome. Well, nice talking to you, Nick. Enjoy Thanks the rest very of your much. show. Yeah. And you. Take care. Cheers, guys. Five exhausts on a car, you definitely think of like a Saxo from the mid 90s with a massive body kit on it, but this Bugatti pulls it off quite well. It's not even five, it's six. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> Can't even count. In the last video, I've missed an exhaust. Yeah, you did. This one, I couldn't. Uh, mm. <laughs> Look around the uh, Maguire's stand um, on another level. I mean, check this out. But wait, there's more. We've reached the Holy Grail. It's an A as well. This is probably mine and Alex's number one choice. Ever. Ever. That is... Have a look at his 964, it's absolute heaven. Oh. Headlining. Oh. Alicantara headlining all as well. Nice pole positions. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Napalella. Yeah. Indeed, Snappy Gator's done the trim for me, like. Dash is all trimmed upper, middle, bottom dash. Who, who did all the uh, trim? Andy. Andy. Snappy Gators, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I waited eight months for the seats, but they're worth the wait. The you colour, know, colour on this car is absolutely insane. It's like... Yeah, it's a nice car. Yeah, it's a nice car. 
So that's an awesome touch as well. Speed line on the on there, that's awesome. That. Is it? Yeah. I don't know if a camera will pick it up, but speed line for Porsche. Proper Pilot Sport Cup 2s as well. And some serious details on this car. How long have you owned it for, Alan? Four years. Just over four years ago, bottom mid. Absolutely. And I decided to strip it, bare metal, wings off, bare metal, re-edged it, new glass, new rubbers, gaskets, so trims, door seats. been completely overhauled in that sort yeah, of aspect. Yeah, new suspension. What the suspension have you, are you running? Just genuine 912? Simon Sweetland, H&R Ultra Lows. H&R's <laughs> by, oh, by still static. I ain't got, yeah. It's going to kill me, I haven't got the clothes on today. <laughs> But yeah, still static, we'll drop a link below. <laughs> How do they ride with the Porsche then? Nice. Are you good? Sweet, yeah. Like, the ride's really nice, yeah. The white cars on both stains, like, a bit harder. Yeah. Good for the track, but this, yeah, this, this is more of a... This, I'm never going to track this car, even though I've themed it as a track car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just a cruiser, like. It rides nice, you know. If, a G, if Edition 1's not built for Austria, this will be an Austria. So this may be at Wervesy. Yeah. At the sea. At, we're the sea. At the sea. <laughs> <laughs> so if you don't follow Alan, I'll drop a link below for his Instagram page. He's got uh, numerous 964s. We've got three. Three 964s. Moment, yeah. uh, he's got a, uh, Mar is it Marino Yellow Mark 1? Marino Yellow. Yeah, Marino Swallowtail, Yellow. Yeah. yeah, Swallowtail Mark 1. That's on H&R's as well, isn't it? With yeah, uh, E51s. E51s, yeah. BBS E51s. Yeah. Uh, Beetle RSI, HPA Twin Turbo. Twin Turbo, yeah. Uh, all sorts. Too, ma too many. Too yeah. many. <laughs> and they're all at this sort of standard. Cheers. Cheers. Absolutely cheers. insane. This has got the potential to just be body dropped on a chassis. Go full pipe, eh? Full pipe in McGraw style. Loves it. I uh, edited um, my life away for the last hour, and this utter legend got me my supper. <laughs> Yeah, yeah buddy. Yeah, right? Bacon? I didn't even ask for bacon. <laughs> I've ruined it. <laughs> what time are we on? Half past four. Half quarter five. I've got quarter five, he's got half past four, so somewhere around there. <laughs> We've both got old watches. old watches that are absolutely useless. Mine's it's probably, wind up, so it's yeah, so it's, mine's wind up and all. You winding me up. I'm not winding you up, are you yeah. winding me up? No, I'm just winding it up. I'm man. winding mine up. Oh. We're both wrong. It's We're both 22. It's 22. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh. Anyway, uh, we're just literally just dotting around, just seeing some last minute bits. Ooh. Oh, I looked earlier. Yeah, it's good. Um, we're off to an award ceremony tonight. Yep. Um, club's been nominated for an award. We don't know what award, um, but we know there's free beer. Free beer. So we'll go into that. My phone might die. I might find someone who's got a charger. Holy shit. So I think that'll be it, actually. Um, this is Friday's video done. My lens is on its last legs. That's another story all in, but we'll sort that out. And we'll see you guys another day. So, so sweet. Peace.